these are my travel essentials all the cosmetics i've been using while i'm here makeup products toothbrush and some tools that is my latest beauty tool and it is a beauty blender silicone beauty blender and that's my makeup bag right there hey everyone i hope you are all well so i'm currently in fall shopping sweden that is literally slap bang in the middle of stockholm and gothenburg with Esther. We just thought we would make a weekend out of it. Today we'll be exploring Gothenburg and then going out at night. Um, but anyway, that's beside the video point. I just want to show you my travel essentials and how I pack them and how exactly I, I, I choose exactly what I want to take with me. Let's start with what exactly I've got on this table because I've got everything in front of me right here. So these are all the cosmetics and the tools I've brought with me. Over here we have the bags that you usually have to show to security with all your liquids Everything must be under 100 mils in order for you to take it through security And I'm going to show you everything one by one So let's go through all the liquids that I brought with me These are all the liquids that I brought and they all fit snugly into this bag You have to be able to seal it in order for it to go through security How I usually pack is I think face body teeth face body teeth and that's how I remember exactly what to bring I go through my morning routine and I tell myself all right so when I'm washing my face what do I do when I'm washing my body what do I need when I'm washing my teeth when I'm brushing my teeth what do I need and that is exactly how I bring how that is exactly how I remember to bring my essentials so I'm just gonna take you through my routine and um, basically we're gonna go through every single thing that I use. I've just woken up in the morning. What's the first thing I do? Brush my teeth. I need toothpaste for that. Therefore, I pack toothpaste. This is the toothpaste that I bring. I just squeeze it into this tiny little container, which I'm sure is like, what, five, 10 mils, and then I use my toothbrush. These are the basic things I use to clean my mouth, to clean my teeth. Toothpaste, toothbrush. That goes into my liquids container. This does not. Then after I've brushed my teeth, I think, okay, I need to wash my face. What do I bring? Face wash. Usually I use a scrub. Of course, a scrub is not very easy to transport. You have to use a, a container for that. So what I do is I bring a face wash and a face towel. This is my face towel. This is um, Cetaphil face, face wash. I always like to travel with a, a face towel. And I've just put it on the radiator and it's drying now. So I've brushed my teeth, I've washed my face. Now it's time to wash my body. I use a shower gel. This is a ginger and shea butter body wash. Ginger and shea butter are two of my absolute favorite things in life. <laughs> Relatively affordable brand. I think it's like Radox or something. And I use it on a daily basis. So I just put what I needed in this container. What else do I use to wash my body? Hand gloves. This is what I use to scrub my body. This is a manual exfoliant for the body. Gets you nice and squeaky clean. So far we have these three in the liquids. So what do I do after I've washed everything? I then dry everything. I travel with a small towel. This one is super just tiny. I sometimes use it to dry my hair. I use it for my body when I'm traveling. If you don't like traveling with towels, you can always air dry. <laughs> but I like a towel because it just speeds up the process. It folds up really small. Multi-purpose, that is a tiny towel. So after I've dried off, I then start thinking of my face again. This is a micellar water cleanser. And how I cleanse my face is with cotton rounds. I also clean my ears with cotton buds. I put this in my little African pouch and I'm good to go. So these two products work together. Cleanser goes in with the liquids. I skip toning. There's only so much I can pack in here. I then think, all right, so do I wanna use any chemical exfoliants? Usually, at the moment, I'm using a BHA liquid. It would have been a bit hard to squeeze out and I've run out of my miniature bottle. So what I did was I bought my miniature bottle of AHA gel. I mostly use this at night, but sometimes on the rare occasion, I use it during the day if I know I am wearing an SPF on top of it. It's a liquid, therefore, it goes into the liquid container. Put a little bit on my hand, put it all over. After that, I then moisturize. I moisturize according to how I feel. Usually I just use Simple. That gel is actually quite moisturizing, so today I just use Simple. This is my moisturizer here in this little container. I just get out a small pea-sized amount and just use it all over my face. If I feel my skin is dry, I then use some shea butter, but Usually it's just simple lotion. I then move on to my body. I use the Vaseline Intensive Cocoa Radiant Body Lotion. 
I buy the big bowl and I just put it in here and travel with it. We're getting full, aren't we? So after I've moisturized my body, I then put on some roll-on. It's got a, such a subtle smell and it just does the job. This is my deodorant, it is Vaseline Active Fresh. So this is a liquid, therefore it goes into my liquid bag. We are getting full. This shea butter is extremely multi-purpose. I moisturize my French braids underneath, making sure not to neglect it while I'm traveling. I decided deliberately to wear a wig while traveling because I didn't want to have to bring extra products to moisturize my hair, so I thought this is the most low maintenance, easy hairstyle, a wig, and it's short, so it's just so easy to transport, easy to deal with, don't even need a comb, all I need is that brush, to brush my own edges and to brush the wig. These are my liquids so far. Liquids, gels, and my butter. So my last two liquids are my foundation and concealer. This is the foundation that I use. Studio Fix Fluid, only 30 mils, and I put it in my container. As you can see, we are almost at the top. Concealer in here. And there we go. These are all the liquids. Security cannot complain. They cannot take anything away from you when you have packed everything in one of these bags, making sure each individual item is less than 100 mils. Means if I bring everything that I need, it means I don't have to go to the shop and buy stuff. It means I've got everything I need in here, and so it's great. I've already shown you a few of my essential tools, but I take my toothbrush when I am traveling on the weekend. We are here for four days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. My battery can last four days, so I bring that. A week or two weeks, I usually take a manual toothbrush, but if it's just for a weekend, definitely taking my electric toothbrush. I just always change the head when it gets old. Works perfectly. This is another tool, it is a silicone beauty blender. I use that to blend in my foundation. Definitely a new essential for me. Of course I have my makeup bag, it has my lipsticks, things that are of course not liquids. Earbuds and cotton rounds. These are such an amazing tool. My wash gloves. And then of course I have my towels. I have my face towel which I use in conjunction with my face wash. I buy these from Primark, they come in packs of three. But of course you can get them from a lot of other places. Then of course I have my mini towel. And lastly, but not leastly, my face wipes. I buy them for around 50p at Wilco. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know what your travel essentials are. I hope this has helped you in one way or the other. Oh, and remember to turn your notifications on so you know exactly when I have uploaded a video. Like this video if you've liked this video and please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.